Okay, so today I was going to do a completely other video, but in the meantime, actually, Uber 3 were playing uh, a few days ago in Los Angeles. They came back from their tour, so I went and I filmed. And what was great is that Traps PS were there too. And it's great because I absolutely love Traps PS also. I saw them at Ecoplex a while ago. I, I made a video about that. And I was glad to see them again because the, the place where we were, it was uh, Permanent Records. Road House, it's uh, actually a record shop, but also bar but also a place to play. It was very different from Ecoplex, and I'm glad that I saw Traps PS there because it had a completely different feeling. It was not as cold as in Ecoplex, and it proved me that I really love their music, so I was very glad to see them. They are so nice. The people of Traps PS are so, so nice. The drummer of Traps PS is the guy that I helped when we went out from Ecoplex. I couldn't find uh, Uber. I couldn't get Uber to arrive where I was to pick me up. And there was this homeless guy who was asking me for a cigarette and I was panicking and the drummer of Traps PS asked me to help him <laughs> to get out of Ecoplex. So then I was panicking, but now it makes me laugh because I was in such a <laughs> weird situation there when I think about it. But the good thing of the evening is that I discovered Traps PS and I confirmed that I absolutely love their music and Hoover 3 there were amazing. And I'm actually happy because I'm going to see a play with, with Gravy Flowers Bongo Band very soon. So I will see how different it is from Hoover 3 because Gabe belongs to two bands actually. So yeah, I wanted to show what I saw that night. But first, I also want to talk about a demo that someone posted on Facebook, I think. I don't know if it's Facebook or Instagram, one or the other. And this person uh, posted a demo by Marcolis. And she sent me that. couldn't download it on my computer so I just filmed it with my other camera. So she told me that the song probably is named Caroline. I love the trumpets. I love the trumpet. He made a bridge. I don't have a link for that. I can only find the person who posted that. So it was a demo. I, I don't know why it makes me sad and it makes me happy in the same time. It was probably made for the reaction. I love it. I actually love a lot the songs for the reactions. just filmed it with this small camera, it's even not a smartphone. I don't have it on my computer. Anyway, I'm not allowed to do that, it's not my property, I can just show you snippets. So I wanted to show you that, to make you hear that. This 
beside that, I just wanted to say how much that evening when Traps PS and then Uber 3 played was so joyful. It was such a fun evening. At the beginning, I was a little impatient because it took some time before they started. But then there was such a great ambience. It was, it was so great. I mean, I realized how much I need from me to, the music to be joyful. Because if it makes me sad, I cannot handle that anymore. Most of my time in my work, I spend a lot of time working alone on my computer, packing, going to the post office, doing a lot of paperwork, a lot of administrative administration papers, things that I don't really enjoy doing. <laughs> mind doing my job, talking with customers or even packing or even going to the post office. That's not a problem for me. What I don't like is all the administrative papers. I really don't like that. And unfortunately, there is a lot to do, not only for my business, but for the immigration too. <laughs> I'm all the time doing things like that. I could be depressed because I spend a lot of time alone, but actually I, I handle quite well my time alone on my work. I'm probably used to it. I don't mind. Actually with my cat, I don't feel completely <laughs> alone. <laughs> but I'm always talking with customers online or in person. I'm always talking to someone, so I don't really completely feel alone. But I try to avoid all what is sad. <laughs> For me, music is like my time off my work. I mean, it's my time where I really enjoy completely what I'm doing. Not that my work, I don't enjoy what I'm doing. I do enjoy my work, but I think music is something that I really, really enjoy. <laughs> and art <clears throat> I don't really have a lot of time to do it right now and my way of escaping a little the work is the music <laughs> Music 
music, you can listen to music by doing something else. When you paint, you paint. You cannot paint and work in the same time. But you can listen to music and work in the same time. Well, not always easy, but it's doable. <laughs> For me, music must be joyful because if I'm depressed by the paperwork and then I do something which is depressing or which is sad, that's not good. That's why I'm always searching for something joyful. <laughs> Actually, Gabe's music, uh, Gabe's and his band and all, I'm sorry, I don't know the names yet. I, I just know the names on Instagram, but it's not the real names. And so I cannot give you the detail of all the people in the band, but I will know that at a point. <laughs> They are so busy people, they are playing everywhere all the time. Anyway, it's very joyful for me and uh, the guy of Traps PS, so they are much less, they are only three. They are very joyful too, so for me it's the perfect, we say recreation in French, recreation. <laughs> perfect time off to escape and to have some fun by enjoying very good music and it's perfect for me. Actually I laughed a lot that night. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
something, I don't want to embarrass him, but he did something very funny, which was quite, it could have been in a film with the Marx Brothers, you know. I usually don't like this kind of humor, sense of humor, it's not my kind, it's usually not what is making me laugh, but this was really <laughs> funny, it was so funny and I laughed so much. <laughs> Joyful. Hey, do you have the effects running through the monitor? just beside me who wanted me to keep his glass because he needed to go to the bathroom and so I was keeping his glass when he came back he asked me if I knew the band if I already saw them before I said yes I explained to him what it was and he seemed to really enjoy the music <laughs> this other 
another guy coming just in front of me and moving and jumping and I couldn't see a thing so everything is not perfectly filmed um, I'm sorry about that I asked him to go away because I was filming but he came back <laughs> Unfortunately, Gabe's girlfriend was on my left and she had a much better position to take very good photos and she, she had a much better camera than mine, so probably she made beautiful photos. <laughs> Anyway, it was very fun. The place is great. For gravy flowers, bongo band, I go back at the same place. It's going to be fun too. And uh, yes, it was really great. I came back home, I was just happy to have some fun with just some very good music. And And it was perfect! I thought, okay, my video will be about that. to talk about the kind of uh, controversy about Jimmy Page. I will talk about that in my next video probably. <laughs> contacted me and gave me a lot of information but actually most of the information she gave me I knew more or less already <laughs> of a lot of things because you know times were so different at the end of the 60s at the beginning of the 70s and now <laughs> the same 
same period at all. Everything is completely different. <laughs> I'm going to end up being like the Jimmy Page lawyer on a video. <laughs> that I'm, I'm paid by Jimmy Page to defend him. Nobody asked me anything. I'm not there to defend Jimmy Page. That's not the problem, but we must replace the situation in the period, how the things are, because I saw that from the inside. I mean, I've not I don't know Jimmy Page, but I grew up in the French show business, so I know how it is. Even if my mother was not the kind of woman having this kind of life, it was, however, very crazy. I think that I guess probably what happened. I think that we shouldn't judge people according to that because what was relevant in one period is not automatically relevant now it's not the same situation it's not the same period it's not the same circumstances <laughs> more informed now. But in the same time, a lot of stupid things come to our ears. So we, we must be very careful about the information which arrives to us. not judge people according to what we hear which is not always true or which is not always the only side of the story <laughs> probably talk about that in my next video. The question of this woman who contacted me was, uh, must we separate the art, the artist from the person? During a long 
time I thought that I couldn't appreciate an artist if the person was not fine but actually I changed my mind about that because a lot of some people not a lot but some people are geniuses in matter of art or music or whatever and they are not automatically the smartest people in the private area <laughs> now to see only the creation aspect without thinking about the person <laughs> however in the case of jimmy page I don't think he's a bad guy. I, I, I don't want to believe that because, you know, I've, I'm reading, uh, I, I, I finished, actually I finished to read his big book, uh, Jimmy Page by Jimmy Page. No, someone who made a book like that cannot be bad. <laughs> about him I will show you the book again and I will do a video on the book I really recommend this book I don't have much to say this week. I just enjoyed the music. I just appreciated to have a good moment with friends. I cannot say friends because I don't know them really well, but they are really nice people. They are very pleasant people. relaxed and no problem no drama no stories nothing just music fun and have a good moment <laughs> Drummer, the Hoover 3 drummer is really good. I really appreciated his way of playing. <laughs> Nothing new under the sun except working, 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 chasing the money all the time. I saw the chair. The person came from Arizona to pick up the chair. It's the second.
elegant person from Arizona who comes to pick up something from me. That's interesting. Obviously, people in Arizona like my stuff. <laughs> other thing it was a menorah a huge menorah which was not even mine it's someone else who asked me to try to sell that <laughs> was living in Arizona and who discovered that he discovered that his father was Jewish and he wanted to put this big menorah in his yard and he came from Arizona to pick up the menorah which was huge big almost as big as me in uh, wrought iron <laughs> Yesterday it was a chair, an armchair, with a very Louis XV, uh, Louis the Fifteenth style. But it was not an antique. It was a vintage, but not antique. <laughs> and the person came from Arizona too in car to pick up the chair and it was exactly the same chair he had four but one broke and he was missing one and my chair became a part of his family <laughs> moving around <laughs> and my videos and that's it and actually it's not for myself because it's mostly for you and for me too but for you too for us next one may be much longer and probably more complicated <laughs> and please don't be upset we can all have opinions without fighting. <laughs> okay, I think I'm going to stop here and let you just enjoy the music. <laughs>